Hello there, person. Let's check out what's new with Wraithbinder. There's a lot of uh, fruitful things that have happened this week. Uh, I started off with making the release build for Windows. And what's cool about that is it runs at a really decent frame rate, even within a virtual machine. I was running Windows 10 within Mac OS and still running Wraithbinder at a really decent, decent frame rate. Um, I wish I could, I need to go actually check what the actual frame rate was. Um, and now here's some fun stuff added to Wraithbinder. We've got um, some landmarks now on the the map. So I can, you can kind of know that, okay, this section of the map is the X or hourglass shape. And in the mini map, in the top right of the screen, we kind of have those shapes mirrored again. Uh, and then the, here we've got some shapes of cubes right here. So that's the, that corresponds with the square in the mini map. Um, and these things, you know, Hopefully they look like cubes. You can you can recognize you know at any one of these camera rotations you can kind of like get a little bit of a sense of orientation for the map um, using these these landmarks. So up here in this this uh, northwest quadrant we have this sort of diamond shape. It's really just two pyramids stacked on top of each other, but it's kind of like a diamond shape if in two dimensions. So that's a uh, that's represented again in the mini map and then in this last corner we've got spheres so that's the circle and um, so that's meant to give you a little bit of a sense of uh, orientation and really it's it's more meant to be subconscious and intuitive rather than being uh, conscious and intellectual so it's just something you kind of maybe get used to or you notice these things um, but to really hammer home the sense of orientation, we've got now this this little uh, thing that appears on the HUD and then fades away real quickly. Whenever I rotate the camera, it's telling me where north is. So we've got this north indicator. Right now it's pointing straight up. And as I ro rotate the camera, now it's pointing to the northeast. And now it's pointing to the northwest, etc. So that little north indicator... Um, really gives you gosh you can always just find north and then you can reorient the, the camera to um, to north if you prefer so that's kind of way the, the, the way the camera starts like here's my was my base when I first started playing this match here I kind of got instantly oriented with this particular configuration this view of my um, my base so if I put north back to where it was, uh, now I'm looking at the camera kind of the way that I initially did, which I think would I think it helps me orient myself at least playing it. I hope it helps players. Um, but it, check out this, dude. This is really cool too. We've got new these new uh, bridges. So there's these I call them spans um, because bridges are something you can build with your Skybot. So these are spans, um, and we've got switches that activate them. So these are invisible bridges so basically we've got I can't walk on any of this stuff and in fact if I even go into God mode I can fall down to the ground right here meaning that there is a terrain height of zero right here and there's a terrain height of about a hundred when I'm standing on this platform so when I go here and activate this switch bridge or the span sorry uh, all these little tiles come up and it modifies the terrain height removes any sky entities changes collision categories and whatever that's needed to create these bridges so yay these are fun and I reintroduced some teleports um, the build that I, I was working on this last week I was like oh my gosh there's really no teleports anymore because I I put these spawners up here they spawn um, little creeps and they um, they kind of took the place of those switches or those those uh, teleports. So now move the teleport onto this platform, and now you can teleport from the the corners of the map again, and you can activate the switch from either side. So if I come from this teleport and I want to sneak onto this side of the map and start harrying people on this end of the world, I can do that, right? I can I can use that teleport, come over here, hit this switch, hit half of this bridge up, and I can even get the experience for hitting that switch too. So that's cool. So check it out. Let's go. Um, I haven't even tried this yet since I've introduced these bridges. I haven't tried playing with any bots. Let's go ahead and add bots to the map. Seven of them. 
and oh take away my mana points immediate and what else all abilities turn that off so we start actually play a real match how this is meant to be played let's see what happens huh first time playing with bots with the new bridges I'm gonna go ahead and hit that bridge right away that thing's exciting boom maybe I'll sneak into the enemy territory yeah but first I'm hitting this bridge and get the experience yeah, oh man. If I leveled up, I leveled up from just hitting switches. And do I want to let these guys go attack this guy's base? Or do I want the experience from fighting him? Where is this guy? He didn't even go over his switch? I can steal his base right now. This guy's gonna. Oh, no. I would need, there's lots of ways to get that guy um, so you can go and steal his base. But if, if that turret hits you, it always knocks you away. Oh, let's turn into a boss. Oh, that guy blocked me from getting to be boss. Come on. Oh, oh if I was boss right now, I could just totally dominate all these guys. I got, boot, I got boots and a, a bow. Buttons the bow again. There it is. Yeah. Yeah. I love how the arrows heat seek a little bit. Oh, I can turn the boss. What am I thinking? What am I thinking? Yes, yes, this is happening. I don't even have the sword yet. But you do a lot more damage when you're the boss. Boom! Yes! Get this guy too! Yeah, I just get three people on my team. Bam! It's just turning into a, a brawl in the middle. I got the blade now, so I can... Oh, let's power up. Turn into the boss. I'm almost dead. What's up? Oh, this guy's... He's trying to turn into a boss, dude. Oh. Yeah. Boom. There's two boos. And I one of the boos is MVP, that's for sure. So there's a little bug right now. I don't think it's going to count up our kills. Oh, don't get to see the kills. But there you have it. That was, um, that just turned into a total just, um, let's hit, let's all just fight right in the middle battle. That was fun though. Gosh, yeah. I love those bridges. I love those, those cool new hidden bridges. Um, the vision for this is eventually to have, uh, pro possibly procedurally generated maps or a map editor where you can create your own maps. Either way, it'd be fun, right? If you're creating your own maps, you're like, hey, I'm going to put some of these hidden bridges here. Or if it's procedural maps, then man, those bridges could be anywhere. So it's going to be fun no matter what, I'm pretty sure. So um, there you have it. That's the new stuff with Braid Binder. Thanks for watching this video. And we'll catch you next time. Signing out. WizardFu. See ya.